Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we are starting a new chapter named as Control and Coordination. Okay. And Coordination. So in this chapter we will be starting with Animal Nervous System. So this is the structure of a structure of neuron okay so in animals the control and coordination is provided by nervous and muscular tissues okay so in animals the control and coordination is provided by this nervous and muscular tissues so touching a hot object is an urgent and dangerous situation for us so how we get the response from our nervous and muscular tissues that this is a hot object we should not touch it so these are the coordination and the control things are done by nervous and muscular tissues in animals okay so we need to detect it and respond to it that whether a object is hot or not so how we will detect the and react to this uh, situation so I will tell you this in this lecture. So all information from our environment, all the information from our environment, okay, is detected by a specialized tip, specialized. tip of some nerve cells nerve cells okay these receptors are usually located in these receptors are usually located in in our sense organs okay such as what are the various sense organs animal or humans have like ear such as inner ear the nose the tongue and so on okay so the stately receptors so the stately receptors will detect taste means the receptors of the tongue will detect the taste while while olfactory olfactory receptors will detect smell that from our nose will smell will detect the smell so student this is all about the organs means the receptors we have so now we will study how this information is acquired or how this is detected by our sensory organs or you can say the nervous systems okay so this information acquired at the end of a dendy dendritic tip of a nerve cell this information acquired at the end of dendritic tip of a nerve cell okay so here is sets of a chemical reaction occur chemical reaction occur that creates 
an electric impulse okay students so these dendritic tip of the nerve cell sets off a chemical reaction which in turn creates an electrical impulse so first let me erase this so this impulse travels this impulse travels from the dendrite to the cell body from the dendrite which was at the tip of the cell dendrite to the cell body okay and then along the axon to its end and then along the axon to its end so here is the axon which is shown and it is the cell body so here are dendritic tips from which the information is acquired and this information is passed to the axon and to the nerve ending ends so at the end of the axon so what happened at the end at the end of axon the electrical impulse the electrical impulse sets off the sets off the release of some chemicals so here in the diagram which i have shown you there is some chemicals are released at the end of this so these chemicals close the gap or synapse and start say electrical impulse so these chemicals close the gap and start a similar electrical impulse start a similar electrical impulse in a dendrite of the next neuron in a so this is take place in all the neurons okay and this is a general scheme of how nervous impulses travel in the body okay and a similar synapse or you can say the gap finally allows delivery of such impulses from neurons to other cells or to the sensory organs okay so it is thus no surprise that nervous tissue is made up of an or organized network of nerve cells or you can say the neurons okay means our nerve cell is made up of organized structure of neurons and is specialized for conducting the information via electrical impulses from one part of the body to the another part so this is how we animals or we human beings reacts to a particular or urgent or dangerous situations okay i i hope students now you are pretty clear about how is the reflexes occurred in humans or animals and in the next lecture we will discuss about what happens in reflex action okay so stay tuned for the next lecture and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning